Hello, friends. Welcome to Toddler Tuesday. Have you had a good week? Awesome. My name is Mandy, and once again, we have a sleeping Coco. And if you're really quiet, you can even hear him snore. He's in a deep sleep. I'm happy you're here because I have an awesome, totally true story straight from the Bible to share with you today. Our true Bible story is about a king named Solomon. What's his name? Yes, King Solomon. So God gave King Solomon a very important and very big building job. God wanted King Solomon to build a special place called a temple. It needed to be huge and beautiful. Do you think King Solomon was up for the challenge? He sure was. Right away, Solomon hopped to it. God told him what to do, and he did it. First, King Solomon needed supplies. He needed wood. Where do you think wood comes from? I'll give you a hint. It's something tall, and it has leaves and branches. What do you think it is? Yes, wood comes from trees. But guess what? The trees he needed didn't belong to King Solomon. They belonged to another king named King Hiram. So King Solomon asked King Hiram if he could buy the trees to build the temple. Can you guess what King Hiram said? Yeah, he said yes. Well, all this wood had to get back to King Solomon, and nobody had any trucks or trains back then. Do you know what they did? They floated those logs through the sea. Can you pretend to float like you're in a pool? Ah, put your arms back, relax, and just float. Ah, that's cozy. Great job. So King Hiram floated lots and lots and lots of logs to King Solomon. Remember, this was a big job and they needed plenty of wood. Now, once King Solomon had all of his supplies, he needed lots of workers to help him build. Hey, do you think we could be workers and help build? Great. So King Solomon said, we have jobs for everyone. Okay, team, let's hop to it. So they built and they built and they built. Let's pretend to pound the nails in the wood. Hold up your hammer. Here's your nail, and now pound. Ah, got my finger, but I'm okay. Okay, great hammering. They even covered some of the beautiful walls in gold. So now let's paint on some of the gold. So hold up your paintbrush, and then you paint up and down, up and down, up and down. It's hard work. But all along the way, King Solomon knew God was helping them. It took a long, long time, but after seven years, the temple was done. Let's count up those years together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everyone say, wow. Wow. Wow is right. It was a Big job. But King Solomon wasn't alone. God helped him. God helped King Solomon do something so big. And guess what? God will help you too. That's true. God helped King Solomon build the temple. God can help you do big things too. Isn't that great? I love the story about King Solomon building a temple. Next, we get to sing with Hannah and Elizabeth. But before we go, let's pray. Ready? Dear God, thank you for helping King Solomon do something so big by building the temple. Help us to remember that you will help us do big things too because you made each of us and you love us very much. We love you, God. It's in your name we pray. Amen. All right. Have a great week and I will see you next Tuesday.
Bye. Hey kids, I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Hannah. And today we're gonna sing This Little Light of Mine for you. Ready? Mm-hmm. Light of mine, I'm gonna. 